There's an old saying that says, give me the strength to change what I can and the wisdom to know what I can't. I burned myself out and went through an intense midlife crisis at 50 trying to save the world when I realized I was killing myself to bring people the best information I could. And even when people were paying me a lot of money, probably 80% of them would go home and do none of it and come back complaining. And everybody that did what I taught them to do got healthy and felt better and went on to fulfill their dreams. It's their choice. This is, I really thought people wanted to get better. I really thought they wanted to live their dreams, but most of them really just wanted to stay in a state of unconscious bliss of watching television, drinking beer, smoking pot, and just getting by. Addictions, sure escapism, falling into the nihilism of the world instead of seeing that while you're in your nihilistic state, the guy right next to you is having the time of his life. I'm having the time of my life. In fact, if I never had a television or a phone, I wouldn't even know COVID was going on. We all have the power of every level of the universe invested in us. We have the power to create our dreams. We have the power to manifest. Anything the yogis and the masters can do, we can do. Jesus himself in the Bible says, anything I can do, you can do better. The question is, are you willing to spend the time to take the clutter out of your mind and do the work to get clear on what it is that is fulfilling to you that gives you a sense of meaning and value and gets you up out of bed in the morning. I've got so much fire moving through me that it's hard for me to sleep past 3.30 or 4 in the morning. I want to get in here and do my spiritual practices and do my work to contribute to the world because I have been in those dark places and I've climbed out of them and I know what it's like to be trapped. And so out of the love of wanting to help, I'm inspired. David Bohm says no man can do deep thinking until he's healthy and he has a healthy rhythm in his life. And that's why I built the four doctor system Dr. Happiness says you got to have a dream and you got to have values to navigate your dream because your yes has no value until you learn to say no. And without values, you don't know when to say no. Dr. Movement says you have to realize that to be healthy physically, emotionally, and mentally, you have to keep your body moving. You have to keep your emotions from getting stuck. You have to be honest about what you're feeling and honest about what your 50% of each relationship is because that's the part you can deal with. You have to be honest about keeping your mind alive and growing your mind and growing yourself spiritually. You have to pay attention to what your body wants to eat and it's always giving you feedback. Most people just ignore the feedback or drug it. You don't get fat overnight you don't get sick overnight you have to work at it the inertia of it you have to take responsibility for your own self-management and then you have to be conscious enough to listen to your body when it needs rest so you have to rest physically sometimes you have to take rest from emotionally challenging relationships and you have to rest mentally or you burn out the overtrained athlete will always get beat by an inferior athlete that's not overtrained because they have reserves so it takes discipline to learn to balance the forces of action and rest. Let's start there because movement and rest are free. You don't have to spend a dime. If you don't have the discipline to move your body and rest your body effectively, you'll never have the discipline to manage your mind and manage your diet. Start where it's free because there's no cost to doing that. And once you got that handled, you'll have the discipline. That will be mental training to be disciplined like that is once you have Dr. Happiness, Dr. Movement, Dr. Diet, and Dr. Quiet and Balance, you're increasing the vitality, you're harmonizing your heart, your brain, and your gut, which opens your intuitive faculty, which opens your sense of capacity to be connected because the more unhealthy and challenged we are internally, the less open our field is to the needs of other people or let alone the needs of the world. So I teach that love evolves from I to we to all. So only when you're healthy enough to handle loving yourself are you ready to be in a relationship where you can give yourself away to somebody else. Then you're ready to graduate to the all, which begins with three or more people and goes to the world.